And we back! Today we're rebuilding one Eastern Conference team and one Western Conference team for five years to have this little mini rivalry to see which team is better. Leave a like, subscribe, let's get into it. Our Western Conference team is the Golden State Warriors. Now we are fantasy drafting, but like the Warriors fans have been had so much success in the last X amount of years, but that's our Western Conference team. Our Eastern Conference team is the Cleveland Cavaliers. So I just realized that we got Cavs versus Warriors, which has been a rivalry forever. They did exactly this. They met in the finals every single year for actually one year, two year, three years, four. So we're adding a fifth year to this, a new rivalry. But this team has John Moran, who's a good person to start off with. And the Warriors have an older team. So these teams are going different paths. This team is extremely young with just one person over 30 and this team has four people over 30 and one guy knocking on the door so we have to rebuild both i'll start off with Jaws team the good thing about this is that we know for sure for these next five years john moran is on the roster there's no ifs ands or buts about it he's got his contract extension all the way until he's 26. we do videos on this channel where we rebuild like every day five times a week for what seven years it feels like a guy that i very very rarely trade for is chris Stapps porzingis i'm gonna trade for him and benedict matherin I'm going to keep Benedict Matherin on the roster for these five years. And eventually, I don't mean, I don't know where his overall gets to, but I want him to be like a secondary best player. I got Chris Stapps and I also have Jaren. I think those two will probably play off well together. I guess both of them are both guys that like to shoot the jump shot more than anything. We'll make it work. I'm going to trade for Steven Adams, but really I'm trading for this pick. I don't know what the Lakers are. They got Devin Booker, Chris Middleton, and some other pieces. That's the pick that we're going to keep. Again, it's a five-year rebuild, so I don't want to trade every single one of my future assets. So we got one back for the trade that we just did recently. So, I mean, I like that. We gave up a 2024 because our picks aren't, aren't going to be valuable because we're going to be winning a bunch of games. You feel me? So uh, Stephen Adams is 100% getting traded. No offense much about it, but I just needed that first-round pick. Traded for Devin Vassell and Jalen Brunson. I don't know exactly what we do with Jalen Brunson because obviously we don't need this high of an overall backup point guard. But I really did that deal to pick up Devin Vassell, another young player. Like, we're going to compete for championships with the young roster. That's my idea. So I've done a few more trades, like trading for Drew Holiday, Jalen Brunson, Dennis Schroeder, first-round pick for Drew Holiday. I don't know if he's going to stay on the roster long-term just because he's already 32 years old. But for at least for the first couple years, for sure. We also traded for Cam Johnson, who's going to be on our roster on our bench. We're going to have to pay him this offseason, but I'm cool with that. Right now, our star lineup is Ja, Drew, Dev Vassell, Jaron, and Porzingis. I personally think that's the championship contender. Off the bench, we, we have Benedict Matherin because in my mind, he's doing so great off the bench in real life. He, I, I want to I wanna wait a little while before he gets up to that starting lineup. So uh, we got Cam Johnson. We got Nicholas Claxton to be a backup five. And we also got Jose Alvarado. I think that might be what our team looks like. I might look around for one more trade potentially to get another wing. I got a Bulls pick for 2026, and I still got that Lakers pick I told y'all I was keeping on. I'll trade for Kevin Porter Jr. for sure. And what is he, 6'5"? 6-4. That can work for a backup shooter guard. Yep, his overall is going to drop that one, but that ain't no problem to us. So this team is built. Obviously, we can make some trades at the deadline if we feel like our team ain't good enough. But right now, I think this lineup is, is good. I mean, it's built for the now and for the future, which we love. Now, this Warriors lineup, it has Harden and De'Aaron Fox as the backcourt, which is so very interesting of a, two people to have together. Bojan Bogdanovic. Okay, we got a lot of guard play. We have Keegan Allen. Oh, Keegan Allen. I didn't just mix Keenan Allen and Keegan Murray together. Keegan Murray out here. Do I keep this backcourt? I'm a little bit afraid of what James Harden might do in free agency. I'm gonna be honest with you. Just a little bit of, just a little bit afraid of James, man. I, I don't know. Is he is he loyal to the to the city of San Francisco San Francisco? San Francisco? Maybe. If I throw him, Murray, and a pick together, oh, that's us. I was about to say, I can get job. No, you can't get job. We could get Zion, bro. Are we overpaying there? We might be overpaying there. Zion, hmm. Let's see if we can keep that pick. What did they say? What did exactly they say? Uh, okay, we're not getting back much. Okay, I will give you Yurt. They still not interested. James Harden's ability to walk in free agency. That is all. That is all that's on my mind right now. I could get Trey Young to build around. Oh, but they want De'Aaron. No, no, no. We're keeping De'Aaron Fox on the roster. De'Aaron Fox is one of our staple pieces, okay? I'm making that known right now, at least until he gets upset with his playtime or his shot attempts. You know how 2K goes. And can I turn, instead of doing Murray, can I do like Pat Connaughton? Can we still get Zion with Pat Connaughton as the guy? We could get LaMelo and Bradley Beal. Now that's making me rethink the whole De'Aaron Fox is safe. 
That feels like an easy trade, right? We know that this man Lamelo, five. You remember this is a five-year rebuild. I gotta do this deal. I gotta do that deal and and make it work later, I guess. Cause they can't play together, can they? Can I turn you to a two? The overall drops. Your overall drops. I, I, I gotta work around. I'm gonna work around. I'm gonna work around it. Maybe they stay together. Maybe they don't. Maybe De'Aaron does get traded away. I'm sorry, De'Aaron. You know you my boy, but maybe you get traded away because that was just that was too good to pass up on in my opinion. There is a Zion trade again. It's flipping Bradley Beal. Or do I want the Pascal trade? The Zion trade has more future growth, obviously. Do they got this man's contract in game? If they don't got this man's, okay, they do. They do. I gotta do the Z trade. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we got Lamelo and Zion on the same team. Come on, bro. That's Highlight City. Look at our core. It's so young. It scares me a little bit that it is so young. I might trade De'Aaron. I promise, De'Aaron, we will have you, and not, maybe not the next video, but a video very, very soon as my star. We already got Z, so we need a three or a center. I think I could turn Scotty into that. Or are we still too young? No, we're gonna be too young. We're gonna be too young, bro. That's not a team that's making it all the way. I'm being honest with myself. I don't think that's a team that makes it all the way if you got that many young pieces. So let's go get an expensive vet, but he's a vet nonetheless. Paul George is gonna run our three, at least for the first couple seasons. There's, we ain't got no loyalty in this organization. We will flip you as soon as you start to get worse. Best believe it. Oh, we ran out of first round picks, that sucks. So this team could potentially have LaMelo, Paul George, Zion, and that shooting guard is Desmond Bain. Uh, is that a lot to get Desmond Bain? No, right? Because Desmond Bain is that nice. Yeah, we just need a center. And we got Jamal Murray's contract. Jamal, I can't be paying you $31 million to come off our bench. So we throw you yurt in a second. That's probably going to get us a good quality, quality center. But we got Zion. I, I know it's 2K. So space, it probably don't matter. But I don't know if I want to throw Rudy Gobert and Zion on the same team. But Robert Williams, on the other hand, obviously is similar. Because Rob is not a floor stretcher either. Let me do what I got. Let me cook. Let me cook. I'm cooking right now. Let, let me do what I got to do. Derek White and Cole Anthony feel like perfect backup guards. So we using like Harrison Barnes and some of these other dudes to fill out the rest of the rotation. So I need a small forward. I need a backup center that's tall though. Whatever, whoever my backup center. Ooh. Whoever my backup center is, he's got to be tall. Mitchell Robinson is tall. I'll do that trade. Mitchell Robinson, welcome to the team. And now we just need like a backup small forward kind of. And we might be ready. Which team is better? I guess he's about to find out. Duran Finney-Smith is the perfect player to have on this roster. He probably don't get the respect he deserves in 2K, but I'm going to move him over to the three. Overall goes down by one. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So our lineup is LaMelo, Desmond, Paul George, Zion, and Rob Williams. We got the Williamson and Williams the third with Mitch Rob, Cole Anthony, Derek White, Duran Finney-Smith. Because Dorian Finney Smith could play the four or the, or the three after we change his backup positions. Which team is better? I feel like this team is better. I just do. I mean, maybe it has a higher ceiling. Because, okay. Oh, you know what? We do have John. We have a guaranteed 90 overall on this roster. This roster is so young. I'm a little bit afraid of what Chris Stapps might do. So I'm going to go to the deadline, see how he's feeling. Because if he's one of the test free agency type dudes, we can't have you on the roster. Because I'm, I'm afraid to lose a max player for nothing. Luka does what he always does. Okay, Rudy Gobert, who we didn't trade for, wins defensive player of the year. Steve Kerr, 72 and 10. So that Western Conference team is doing great. How about our Eastern Conference team, you ask? John Moran is all NBA first team. So that should let you know we at least decent. LaMelo made all NBA third team. And Paul George made second team. So yeah. I would say that the Warriors are probably the heavy favorite. They were the one C. We were the one C. I mean, both of them are, are me. So we were the one seed across the board. Shout out to us for building two magnificent rosters. This team won 59 games. So the one out west, the Golden State Warriors are significantly better than everybody out in the basketball right now. That's fine. That's completely okay. Let's get through the play-ins. Let's get through the first rounds because we're going to be... These boys won 72 games to potentially lose in the first round. No way, right? Okay, 2-2. Two, two, fight back. 3-2. Okay, fake scare. Fake scare right there. Okay, <laughs> one and four seed on both sides. Let's see. Fred Van Vliet we had earlier in the video, did we? No, that was Jalen Brunson. So uh, this is a team we traded for their first round pick. Yeah, I thought they pick might be decent. Nah, uh, they are the four seed. And um, they're, no, they're not a, a lottery team, which means that that pick is valueless. And I will be trading it away more likely than not. Both teams have made it to the conference finals. The Warriors are going against a six seed. They have Emmanuel Moody and Marvin Bagley in their starting lineup. So I'm not really worried about them. And then the Washington Wizards are out east. They have defensive player of the year, Rigo Bear and Jalen Brunson, who was in this video earlier, and Jason Tatum. But they also have Wesley Matthews starting. So, 
you know, both teams have their holes. One of our teams are easily going to make it, and we're down 3-1 in this one. So that's great. Ah, we're almost there, man. We are almost there. All I want to do is shorten my rotation. And, yeah, so Cam Johnson, bro. Why do I always trade for Cam knowing he's just going to be upset about everything? We simcast this, baby. We're at home. You know, Cleveland is a crazy place in the playoff time, baby. This is a place we want to play, a place we want to win. And it looks like we're going to go out there and we're going to get the win. Win by 10 to be exact. Here we go. Another one. Another one. I ain't even, I'm not even looking at this one. Okay, I have to. We're winning. And it's not by a lot. They're staying in it. We need a good fourth quarter push, man. A good fourth quarter push. We got that. One game away. We are back in our home court. The Washington Wizards are very close to blowing a 3-1 lead in the conference finals. Being a team. Okay, that happens semi-regularly in basketball. But the first team this season. He's in. Oh my God. I didn't want to jump in in year one conference finals. And I'm so happy we did it. John Morant, LaMelo Ball in the, in the championship. We did it. Both of our teams have made it. Can we get a round of applause for us? I mean, this Cavs team, we have the top end talent. That's John Morant, obviously. But like the rest of the positions, the Warriors are kind of killing the game, ain't they? Ain't they? Game one is a Warrior win. By a good amount, man, LaMelo with a 28, 15, and 5 game. Z with a 25, 7, and 5 game. Poor Zingas, who it seemed like he's somewhat loyal, so we might be able to bring him back. I mean, he's been a monster blocking shots this season, so five blocks in that one is pretty good, but they lost. Game two is the Warriors. Am I, why am I acting like this is really a series? The Warriors are the superior team. Okay, I was going to say, if they, they had a chance to blow a 3 0, no. We're just happy that both of our teams made it. You know, end of story. Oh, we had two vets, Rudy Gay and Joe Johnson. Both get championship. Nope, we lost. Dang. They got finals appearances. We lost, though. All right, so, yeah, that pick that we thought might be decent ended up being 25. That means nothing to us, so we'll probably flip that. We're always trying to get better every single season, so let's look at our offseason agenda. Resign Porzingis is for sure. Figure out what goes on with Drew Holiday. Does he sign back? He's very loyal. He wants an extension immediately, so he'll probably be back, depending on what his regression looks like. Uh, we probably are going to re-sign Cam then trade him because he's always upset. Nicholas Claxton, uh, okay, whatever. But that's all we really have to do. Devin Vassell give him a, his rookie extension, so he'll be fine. And then with the Warriors, figure out what's going on Paul George's overall for sure. Resign LaMelo, Desmond Bain. And yeah, okay, so both of the cores are going to be pretty much intact. First thing we got to do is trade this pick away because, again, I don't want it. I don't want it. We got to trade you, Drew. Dropping three is crazy, but we do have Dem Vassell and Benedict Matherin looking great right now, so I'm not really tripping about it. We also have to trade Cam Thomas or Cam Johnson, so we might package them together because Cam is just going to be upset every se season. We just brought him back to have the trade asset. We kept the pick and drafted Dante Williamson. We needed a Williamson to go against this Williamson, so that's what we're doing. Uh, Paul George also drops two on the last year of his deal, so both of our teams might be trading away their you know, uh, older guys because they just don't fit no more. Y'all old and we ain't got no loyalty. Like I said earlier, Paul George is getting traded for Carl Anthony Towns and we're going to move Z over to the three. I think that'll work. He's only six, six. Let's be honest, man. We talk about NBA 2K. We talk about basketball positions don't matter. So we move Z over to the three to back up power forward as well. And his overall, I didn't even, did it go up? Did it go down? I literally don't know. But the new star lineup is is these guys, and it still feels really good. It, it still looks really good. We also got TJ Warren on the roster on our mid-level exception a little bit earlier. So that helps out our depth a little bit. Now we figure out what happens with Drew Holiday. Uh, we have our own pick, which is, again, valueless because we're good and we're going to be good. I'll throw in the 25th overall guy, too. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Um, so the real question is, what position are we looking for? This guy was the second overall pick. They offered me him right now. I'm interested a little bit, especially with Mikael Bridges being the other guy. But like, right, like we have Devin Vassell and Benedict Matherin on the roster. This right here could be our starting five for the rest of the video. So am I trading Drew Holiday for somebody that's going to come off our bench? Probably. Yeah, probably. I'll do the Mikael Bridges trade. I'll do it. Why not? Bring Mikael Bridges in the form of second overall pick. Who knows? He might turn out to be a stiller. I doubt it, though, since they're trading him already. <laughs> bro, been, bro been in the locker room for a month and they're like ah we'll move him on we'll move him to the next team and that has us keep benedict matherin on the bench which we don't hate as a six man come on man it's not gonna be a lot of people better than him in that six man position we still do have to trade cam johnson i keep forgetting about that so let's move cam right now while it's on our mind so he don't bring down our team morale probably just looking for a backup power forward that does a little bit of everything like him hopefully somebody that can stretch the floor a little bit we'll see i'll trade for bobby portis stretches the floor does a little bit of everything hustle rebounder 
Yeah, this team is good. Are we better than this team? LaMelo hit eight uh, 93. Ja's 98? Ja hit 98 and I'm just realizing it. Does that make Ja the best player in the game? Yes, tied with Luke. Oh yeah, it's over, it's over, it's over with. Year two results are very similar. We got Luka Doncic doing his thing. Ben Simmons, six man of the year. Check defensive player of the year. Most approved goes in Yeka Kangu. And they won 72 last season, so it dropped off to 65 after Paul George went to his new team. Seemed like it might be somewhat of a struggle, but they still ended up with the most wins in basketball. Ja Morant, absolute ridiculous. Happy that he was on my team to start off with because I don't know what I would do without him. We also got LaMelo Ball. We kind of got lucky with two teams with a lot of assets, and boom, Zion is All-NBA as well. So, oh, Paul George is All-NBA too. I have green pants on. So it's like green, it's weird. Uh, Zion is here with Paul George, who we traded away. So cool to see Paul George still doing his thing, even though he's not with the Golden State Warriors no more. One seed, one seed. The Bulls, nope. The, the Cavaliers won 59. It's just inherently in my mind when I'm rooting for a team that it has to be the Bulls. That's why my mind always thinks Bulls. It's just the way I was raised. All right, so we both teams get out of the first round. Um, the Cavs are in the second round, or got out of the second round, and they meet in the conference finals. <sighs> okay, let's let's figure this out. Down 3-2. Rob Williams is upset now. Rob, you are my favorite player to trade for. Uh, Tatum had 78, uh, 76 points earlier this season. He had 12 threes in that game. Whoa, that's crazy. Because he's going to get traded. We just moved Cat over to the five, and then boom, we trade you for a four or three. You thought you were safe just because you was here last year. No, you ain't. We do need you to perform, though, at least in these next two games so we can keep our rivalry streak alive. This is a, a for sure win. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, now we just move on to a game seven where we're at Chase Arena. Chase something. It's something to do with Chase. Not a sponsor. They sponsor Golden State Warriors. All right, so... We shortened the rotation. We blowed them out the water. I ain't even checked to see who was even on the roster. It don't really matter too much. They lost. See you later. So now we got these two teams matched up again. And of course, there are some changes with Mikhail Bridges being in the starting lineup and with Zion being in the starting lineup. And there's changes to the benches as well. So even though they're the same teams, they are a little bit different. The Cavs take a game this time around. Who y'all rooting for? I, I mean, I'm neutral, obviously. The Cavs come back and do the reverse sweep. Uh, oh, no, they get reverse swept is what I meant. So... You know, it, it is what it is. All right, off-season time. We have to re-sign a bunch of people, if I'm not mistaken. No draft picks, so that's cool. We ain't got to worry about that. But free agency should be kind of iffy. We got to bring back LaMelo on the max. We have to bring back Desmond Bain on something. He's been great. We have to trade Rob Williams. Bring back Cole Anthony, maybe. Cole Anthony type of dude that might win a big-time bag. So maybe we don't. Um, and then with the Cavs, bring back Dev Vassell. Bring back Benedict Mather. So a bunch of bringing back uh, people that are extension eligible that's all we're, we're flipping probably cole anthony and rob williams uh because 17 mil is a lot but you know what Derek white is making 19 i forgot about that yeah Derek white is probably the dude to get that new center uh that ain't a center but man i'm interested Demontis Sabonis left year of his deal nah see the center market is kind of crazy i might wait until the beginning of next season to figure it out um, everybody else is pretty much back on the rosters which is good i still have like my mid-level and some stuff i think um, yeah, so I can bring in, like, why, why not bring in Tyus Jones? I don't even know if we need a backup point guard. I'm going out to get him, though. Big time upgrade. We're getting Jalen Brown. Welcome to the team. Cat, you're moving over to the five. Zion, you're going back to the four. Brown, you're going to the three. Our interior defense is kind of, kind of going to be bad. But does that, does that matter? I guess we're about to find out. Uh, the Golden State Warriors look elite if they weren't already. They've already won two championships, and now they just added another 90 overall player to add to the team. So, you know, things are looking good. I'm going to go and get one more trade for another wing as I see that we need one more. And then we back on our simulation on this side. I ain't even looked out on, out east to see what they need. But I just need another wing for this team. Dalen Terry? I'll get you on the team, man. You might get some rotational minutes over here. I don't know. Nightmare rotation? Yeah, you can get a little minutes at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? And we'll figure out if that's good or not. So over here, we're still looking good. Benedict Matherin has jumped up to an 87 overall. Um, and we still got him coming off the bench. That's that's how good it is. What's your shot tendency? His shot tendency is an 80. So that's solid. We're not mad at that. I'm going to throw Mikhail Bridges and Denver Sale up a little bit. Because that's the reason why people get upset. Oh, I'm not getting enough touches. And my overall is going up. So we just get them a little bit more touches. You're playing long John Moran. He's going to get you touches, but he also going to get his own. So, your number three is about to be a classic, I think. I don't know. We'll see. 
Who's Luka Doncic? Never heard of him. 50, 40, 90 club for John Morant, averaging 29 points per game. That's dope. I don't even know why I'm looking at rookies. Do you really care? AJ Griffin gets an upgrade and wins most approved player. 66 wins is the most in the NBA. Cavs here, Warriors here, and nothing else. Okay, all right. Year three should be a breeze, I hope. It's hard to keep your eye on both sides of the bracket. We only have two, three over here. There we go. Keep it moving. Can they find each other in the finals for the third year in a row? They both make it to the conference finals. In the conference finals, the Cavs are up 3-0. The Cavs make it. The Warriors are one game away, and they do it. Three years in a row is insane. And this year, the Cavs did it. The NBA champions. It is now a 2-1 series with two years potentially left. In this one, we see the... Superstar, and that is John Morant. Um, tied for the highest overall in basketball with a 99 overall. Him and Luka Doncic. That's it. That's a, that's the club. It's him and Luka, as far as I remember. Jason Tatum might be there too. He was close. Nope. I'm sorry. It's just Ja. 2K has decided that in three years, Ja Morant will be in a league of his own, technically, but not really. I mean, 98 is not that big of a difference. But Tatum, Giannis, Luka, and Ja's number one. Lamelo's close, and he's only 23, so he might be 96 by the end of this video. Um, no draft picks. Uh, Offseason is probably going to be pretty much the same. Bring back Ben, who's now the second over highest overall player. He's got to start now, right? He's got to start now. So this Bulls pick that we have is super valuable. I'm just going to trade it for Franz and AJ Griffin, who just won most of the play, but now he's going to be coming off our bench. Just because we needed somebody that will be on the contract, and he'll do that. AJ Griffin's a small forward that can run some shooting guard and stuff. So I feel pretty good about that trade. And now we open up a spot for Benedict Mathurin to officially, officially start at, as finally as a 90 overall. And then over here, the vibes are great. I don't need to make no changes whatsoever. So now let's get back to simulating year number four. LaMelo wins it now. So we've been doing a really good job keeping our teams together. Ooh, defense player and most improved for Chet. From 15 to 21, from 9 to 14 and a half, from 2 to 3. Yeah, you deserve it. Even though your field goal percentage with that, you deserve it for sure, for sure. Back to the 70 win club for the Warriors. Tatum and Giannis play on the same team. I hope... We do not go against that. Where y'all at? They're the four seed. We might go against, or oh, five seed. We might go against them in the second round. We got to hope the Atlanta Hawks handle our lightweight. They don't. Yo, this this team. Okay, the front court or the back court is kind of mid. Even uh, old Rudy Gobert. Eh. But those two alone scare you. Scare me. But we do got 99 overall. You know what I'm saying? So maybe it shouldn't. The Rockets are just happy to be here. They got Darius Garland and Colin Sexton back together. But for some reason, Sexton is the point guard. The guard is the shooting guard. He said the other way around. I don't know. All right. I'm a little afraid of that, that um, Wizards team. Maybe I shouldn't be. It's a 3-0. We swept them. Ah. Okay. They just didn't have a depth like some of the other teams maybe. Oh, my God. Why did I not stop it when they were down 2-0? I thought for sure them boys would give us a game. Oh! I didn't even look at Scotty Barnes, Alexei Pokusepsi, Ijax, Josh Giddy. What? The streak ends at three because of this team? Bro, for real? Josh Giddy? And wait, wait, wait. What did he what is he averaging? 30 and 11 in the playoffs. Wow. Wow. The streak ends after adding Jalen Brown. And I, the Cavs made it. The Cavs made it. And they won it. The Warriors really let down. That's that's cool. That's cool. That's all right, I guess. But dang, we only got one more year. We need to get it back on track. If you said that we no longer have Jaron Jackson Jr., you're right. He left. He left at free agency. So we are down a star power forward. And our streak as a Cavalier is to making the championship every single season might end right now if I don't figure that out. First trade we're going to do is bring in John Collins and Keldon Johnson. Welcome to the team, guys. Don't get too comfortable, that's all I'm saying. We're going to use that same package and throw in a first-round pick with it, though. Get Jaron back. Great. Operation Get Jaron Back is a success, and now he's starting again. That's perfect. Our, the, our bench is bad, though, so let's build this bench. We actually have first-round picks that haven't been used over the last couple seasons, so we got two of them because, yeah, I saw the end of our bench was playing people that are 73 overall. No, 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 no. We don't do that on this roster. Uh-uh. We're trading for this guy. I don't even want to try to butcher his name. Kenny, it's seven letters total. I don't care. Oh, that's a little bit more than seven. I don't care. I'm not going to butcher that man's name. How disrespectful is it to butcher someone's name? I'll just call him Guy. Isn't that better? Would you rather be called Guy or called out of your name? Guy seems like it works in most cases. Trey Lyles. I, I, I don't, I don't know. 
I mean, being honest, we're probably going to shorten that rotation anyway. So we'll run with a 10 right now. Let's look at the other roster. I mean, it's all peachy and good over here. Oh, the bottom of that rotation is kind of iffy too. Let's sure that up because they did just get, they didn't just lose in the conference finals. They got swept in the conference finals. So let's not take that like, oh, we just going to run it back. No, you got embarrassed. And if I can make y'all better, I will. Do we need a backup center? I don't think we even need a back. No, we don't need a backup center. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Okay, we can get a backup wing. We traded our backup PG. That's fine. We got a backup wing of Michael Porter Jr. He'll come in and score a bunch of baskets. We need somebody that can score. He'll fill that void for sure. Now we're going to throw TJ Warren and Lang Langston, <laughs> uh, Romeo Langford to go get a new backup point guard like Tyus Jones. Premier backup point guard. Really good at that job. Really good. Now backup shooter guard is pretty much all we need. And we back on track. We back there to win another championship. We don't need, what's your name? We don't need Dennis Smith Jr. We'll get Dean Wade. And just like that, we got a 10 man. Our coach is Joe Missoula, who's got D plus, D plus. I don't like that. This coach is still JB Bickerstaff. Let's go get a new coach. Was that the reason we lost? Should I take more concern with the coaching job? Let's go get Charlie Gribbs. Charlie Gribbs is, is going to turn this team around. I cannot believe we just had a coach that was D plus, D plus, And I thought that maybe there was a chance. There wasn't a chance. Never was. Cool to see that we saw success on both sides. LaMelo wins MVP again. This guy wins rookie of the year and six man of the year. Shout out to him. Um, Dyson James goes up to 24, nine and eight and a half. He be killing the game, man. And our new coach, Charlie Gribbs, 71 win team again. So they continue to do be 71 wins or something like that. John Moran is on second team now. Uh, the team ended up winning 60 games versus 71 games. I just want them to meet in the finals one last time. Who was it last year? Was it the Pelicans? The Pelicans didn't even make it this year. So we ain't got to, <laughs> we have to worry about them. But we are already down in that series out west. I thought we... <laughs> I tried to stop. We won by 40 in the last game. Because Pavin is here from Romania. I mean, that's a crazy game seven. In 17 minutes, 30 points, five rebounds, five assists. Saved us. Sa legitimately, I mean, we did win by 40. So even if he didn't play at all, we still win by 10. Is that how math works? Probably not. Uh, but they, they did it, and we almost got eliminated, but we did it. Almost doesn't matter in basketball. It's either it does or it doesn't. So we're back in the conference finals. Both teams drop 3-0. Beautiful. We're here. We're here for one last matchup. It is the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, that's the last in the video, but, like, these teams are still super young, and they can still go for, like, five more years they kept these cores together. I mean, again, 98-92 on one side, 96-91-93 on the other. Poor Zingas has been here for the entirety of the video. Shout out for him for holding it down. I, I didn't think he was going to make it through the entire video, but here he is. 3-1 Warriors. 3-2 Warriors. Dang, I wanted another good old fashioned 3-1 comeback. But instead, LaMelo Ball and company end up winning their... I think it went 2-2, two two, right? Look at all of the Golden State Warrior championships. Um, it was it was 3-2. and two. So we've won a championship every season, huh? Look at us. Look at us. But 3-2. and two. So even though they didn't make it that last year, they still won the challenge. Look at just all the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven championships for the Warriors since 2014. Crazy. 